Super Mutants! Get the Diamond City Firepower, you three not least! Huh. I'll take the fort. Go for it! I got you! Damn. Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Excuse me. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. See those big lights? That's right. Working electricity. Excuse me. Can't believe I'm posted outside the wall. Who the heck did I piss off? We got purified water inside the city. Best drink in the Commonwealth. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh! You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, what? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? Huh. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper! Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. 
You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Just looking for something? Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any case? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Mmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Head on inside. Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The secretary, come on. Uh, I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Free 
paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's gonna help you, it's him. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Here's your headline. Local man says no. Going to be like that, huh? <sighs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Can I be of service? Hey, Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before? For the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. 
everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Rubbish. Better days, hasn't it? It's hidden forever. Yes. Not if I have my say. Don't move, Synth! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Synth! Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Excuse me. My God. What are you standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it. That kind of talk is gonna get you sick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Wait, who are you? You the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. 
Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but now Nix disappeared and I can't keep a detective agency open without a detective. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second, is our faith and trust in each other. The faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. Hey, quiet. Trying to hear. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? What do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged.
Let's do it. <laughs> Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Lucky you need a great green jewel. Thank you. 